going on everybody welcome back to another tutorial video for 5m in this video i will be covering a couple things surrounding your start.bat file and you key master key and then a couple of vpns and game servers this is pretty much answering questions in a one video format that i've been getting a lot with private messaging and people asking in discord if you so let's get right into it so first go ahead and jump to where your servers are saved Minus FX server, that's the one I'm going to be demonstrating. So as you can see, if I go ahead and start my server, everything works great. The number one reason or issue I see people doing is when they create their server. Now this is just where mine saved. You could be wherever. <coughs> they name it like this, FX server. So even if you come in here and you have that space in there, and we edit that space in here, once we try to run, as you can see, it doesn't work. Simply, it, it can't read that space. And this is the number one reason people have issues. So get rid of the space and put an underscore, a dash. It really doesn't matter. You just don't want to have any spaces. So let's go ahead and remove all those spaces again. And then you can see once those spaces are gone, our server will start right up. So right on to the next issue. Let's say you get this issue right here. We're going to keep this open so I can duplicate the issue. And we start the server again. It'll instantly come up with this saying, hey, couldn't bind it because it's already in use. So, meaning that exactly it's already in use with the program. So, one thing you have to do is make sure you only open it once. S but let's say you only have one open or you only open it once and you get that message with only one open. That means there's a different program on your computer that's using that same port. All you have to do is change the port. So let's go to our server.cfg and on the very top you're gonna see these two ports. All you got to do is change them. You can come up with a number, change it to 3, to 4, to 5, to 6, to 7. It really doesn't matter. So once we change it to 7 and start up again, it'll start just fine. This is usually a very easy fix for when your computer has issues starting up the server because the gate is already in use. Just go ahead and change it. The port, sorry. And then also if you port forward, make sure that you use this port instead of what the port used to be. Whenever you change this, you have to make sure you port forward that same port. Oh, uh, let's, that's really all I can think of with um, the start.bat, other than let's say you get a key master error when you start the bat. Usually when that happens, just make sure you don't have any mistakes in the key when you paste it over. Make sure you double check that to make sure there's no spaces where it's not supposed to be. And sometimes it helps just to create a new key. When you watch my video on how to create a 5M server, make sure you follow the steps exactly the way I do it on how to create the key to make sure you don't have any issues. Now moving on to the key master while we are on that topic, I have a lot of people messaging me on an error they get when they try to create the key on the website. And it'll be something like, we couldn't bind this to your IP address or something like that. Pretty much what that means is your internet provider is not allowing that feature. It's not allowing you to bind something to your IP address. It's a security feature with them and there's really no work around with it. You could try to call the customer support line and it would pretty much be a back and forth for hours on end and you wouldn't get anywhere. The only solution to that is getting a different internet provider or getting a game server slash a VPN. So let's go ahead and walk, move to that. Game servers and VPNs. The most advertised one all over 5M is Zap Hosting. And when you scroll down, they have game servers and they have dedicated servers. So pretty much what the difference is a game server is a drag and drop. So when we go ahead and just open up a cloud game server and see what it's all about, you can see when we look at this window, it's a format where it's a drag and drop. It's everything is done online. You can import your files. It's a very user friendly for beginners type of hosting a server. Let's say you're more into the coding style and you like doing it the way you do it on your own computer. That is when you rent a VPN or a dedicated server. And you can see their prices start pretty low. It's when you start customizing it and adding stuff is when it gets pricey. So you have Zap Hosting, that's the most popular one. Another very popular one is Iceline Hosting. They got the game, same thing. They got game hosting and your VPS hosting and your dedicated hosting. So those two are very, very good. And hopefully in this video, I covered any issues you run across with simply starting your server. This video was mainly created because of a lot of questions I was receiving in my DMs and my Discord. So I figured I'll make this video to hopefully 
limit the amount of people that blow my phone up because I covered it in this video. If there's something that you are still having issues with regarding this topic and I did not cover it, make sure you leave that in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Another thing you can do is also join my Discord. The link will be in the description. We just hit 100 members, which is awesome for it only being up. I think two weeks we've been doing this YouTube channel. And I try to upload as much as I can, but everybody knows personal life. Sometimes you just can't. But we have a couple of moderators in here. Everybody's very friendly. You can have a suggestions in here. You can see a couple of people suggested a couple of tutorials I make. I just started this too. And you can see people just commented in here today. But we are very active. And we help each other out. You can post screenshots in here. People get each other with each other. We have a couple of support sections where you can talk voice. The only thing I ask is when you do have a question, instead of private messaging me and blowing up my DMs, because believe it or not, that is happening like crazy lately. And I want to help you guys out. I really do. But it's a lot better if you post it in my Discord rather than private messaging me. Simply because if there's an issue you're having, I can, I can or somebody else can hopefully help you in the Discord. And if somebody else is having the same issue, they can see how to get it fixed when looking at the comments instead of having to ask over. That's the reason behind this video. Every 10 minutes for the past week, I've been getting messages on why my start.bat doesn't work. And it's always the same problem, the same reason, because people put spaces in the folder. So I created this video. So again, it is very helpful if you just join a Discord because then you would see that there's already answers to most of the questions you're asking. And if there isn't, I try to get back to you. And even like you see right here, it says, I don't know about it, but I can look into it for you. And I'll give you the resources. If you don't know how to install the resources, I'll reinstall. I'll make a video on it for you. But again, hopefully I covered everything that you could run into with creating your server and starting it and your key master. If you didn't, again, leave it in the comments or join the Discord. And we'll see you in the next video.